What is up, YouTubes? We are here to catch up on the adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Spoilers? Previews? Yeah. And, uh, needless to say, if you're familiar with the channel, I've changed some things up. I've rotated my desk, I've ordered a new mic, I'm trying to just spruce the place up a bit. And, uh, yeah. Think of this as like a work in progress, although I don't know how much this back here is gonna change. I have a lot of magic cards on the floor, that's what I'm getting to. Okay into the spoilers i think let's just recap everything going into the week so that we know what's happened prior to what is today the 27th so i gotta start with the new mechanic gameplay is you venture into dungeons this set is all D, &D related and i absolutely love the flavor of it because if you haven't role played before you're missing out D, D is awesome D, D is kind of what inspired magic and now it's coming full circle 27 years later to now have a set focused on a D, &D universe it is unreal did i mention i'm excited i'm so excited cloister gargoyle it says when it etbs venture into the dungeon now if you're not familiar new card types done oh can can we alt tab correctly the answer is no so here are the dungeon cards that have been released so far think of them like sagas but they don't advance every turn they advance when a card says venture into the dungeon. So you either grab one of your dungeon cards from the command zone. I'm not sure if you get like only one per game or as many as you want, how you pick which one. The point is you venture into one or you venture further into one. So if you were doing Lost Minds of Fal Fandelver, first time when this little when this little cloister gargoyle ETBs, you get to scry one if you choose this one, right? And then the next time another creature ventures you into the dungeon you get to pick which path you want to go and then you need to pick again and then you pick again and then it goes away and as you work through them as you'll see these cards say as long as you've completed a dungeon cloister gargoyle gets plus three plus oh and has flying so it's like your creatures get to level up as you experience the world like that is it's so good it's so good i just love the flavor of it already wizards well done chefs chef's kiss okay flump i don't like this card for limited O4 4 defender flying when it's dealt damage you and target opponent each draw a card that's not what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to draw cards so an O4 an O4 that draws you each cards meh gloom stalker a 2-3 that gets double strike once it's once you've completed a dungeon pretty neat nadar selfless paladin a 3-3 with vigilance helps you venture into dungeons and then other creatures get plus one plus one as long as you've completed one like it's just oh man if you haven't played D D. Maybe this isn't hitting the same it's for you as it is for me, but this is hitting, firing all cylinders, huge fan, moving on. Portable hole. Portable hole. What a... I feel like I'm missing a reference. When portable hole, hole ETBs, exile target not like permanent, and opponent controls with mana value two or less until it leaves the battlefield. So, neat. Seems good. Seems really good for limited, actually. Because you don't often main deck artifact removal. I like that. Shortcut Seeker. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, venture into the dungeon. That seems like it's going to be good, especially if you can make it unblockable. Tasha's Hideous Laughter. This card's already making people roll their eyes real quick. But each opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until that player has exiled cards with total mana value 20 or more. And that can go... You can get deep into a deck, depending on what they're playing. Dungeon Crawler. This guy wants to get deep into a dungeon because that's what he's... I mean, that's what he was created to do, right? As a 2-1 zombie. Whenever you complete a dungeon, you may return Dungeon Crawler from your graveyard to your hand. I like that. Yeah. All right. And then we get to see some of the Plains Walkers. Lolith. Lolf. Lol. Lothi? No. Lolf. Spider Queen. That is a name. That is a syllabled name. Whenever a creature you control dies, put a loyalty counter on her. You may draw a card that's alive. Create two 2-1 spider creature tokens with menace and reach. Or minus eight ultimate, you get an emblem with whenever an opponent is dealt damage by one or more creatures you control. If that player lost less than eight life this turn, they lose life equal to the difference. So, whenever an opponent is dealt combat damage by one or more creatures you control, if the player lost less than eight life this turn, they lose life equal to the difference. So it's not for each creature. So I don't, I don't understand. I'm not a fan of it. Unless I'm just misreading, it doesn't seem all that good. The ultimate, at least. But maybe it's, oh, I guess you get, like, maybe multiple emblems? I don't know. We'll have to see what kind of synergies blow that card up to be even more powerful than I could ever dream of it being. Power word kill. Just flavor on flavor, people. That's what we got in the set. Destroy target non-angel, non-demon, non-devil, non-dragon creature. At instant speed. For two mana. Good deal. I guess it could be awful and limited, depending on how common those creature types are. But I'm going to guess, still pretty good. 
Vorpal Sword. Guys, come on. Even if you haven't played D&D, you've hopefully heard of Vorpal Sword. I feel like other franchises have taken something similar to... Anyway, okay. Eliwick Tumblestrum. Plus one, venture into a dungeon. Don't mind if you do. Minus two, look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. If it's legendary, you gain three life. Put the rest down on the bottom of your library in a random order. I just love it. It's just like, what more do you need? Oh, you get minus seven or to get an emblem. And creatures you control have trample and haste and get plus two, plus two for each differently named dungeon you've completed. Love it. I love it. Okay. Prosperous Innkeeper. Just so friendly. ETBs, you get a treasure token. And whenever another creature ETBs under your control, you gain a life. Because he's just a nice, he's a great host. He's a good guy like that. Life's good. Now we're getting in to the classes and the races. So it's like every creature going to have a race and a class. Class and a race. That'd be interesting. Would be interesting. Each creature can control plus two plus zero for each equipment. You okay, so is white, red going to be equipment type stuff? I like that it makes the first one free. That seems like a commander playable card. And then we're in it for the heavy hitter, Drizzit. No, it's not Drizzit, right? It's Drizzt, but Dordan. But it's, uh, everyone just says Drizzit. Because it's, it, I think it's a cooler sounding name, Drizzit, even if it's not the right pronunciation. The point is, we got Cat Tribal coming back. I like, I mean, I like Tribal, just in general. I like Tribal decks, I like Token decks. I like the fact that Green White seems to be my starting off favorite archetype, because it has this legendary elf ranger coming in hot with the cat creature token tribal synergies. God bless it. My older brother is going to, he's just going to want this card. He hasn't played Magic in 20 years. Like, that's half the cards back there are from my older brother. And the fact that this card's coming back, he's going to be calling me up, hey, uh, about those cards I gave you, I'm going to need those back. <laughs> because <laughs> we're building a cat tribal deck. I'll just have to set him like a cat. Ooh, that's Christmas gift idea. Build him a Drist Commander deck for Christmas. Is that crazy? I'm going to do it. Ian, don't watch this video. Okay, moving on to Tiamat, the one, the only, the five-color dragon god. Oh, my goodness. It's just... I can't wait to see whatever alt art this thing gets. I assume it's going to be epic. When this ETBs, if you cast it, search your library for up to five dragon cards, not named Tiamat. That each have different names. Reveal them. Put them in your hand. Seems good. Just I'm just call me crazy. Seems good. I don't know how I feel about these planes or about the basic lands with the flavor text. I feel like I'm gonna like them a lot more in person because right now just seeing these on the screen they just look kind of busy. You know what I mean? They don't look awe inspiring. Oh, I do like this forest though. That thing's pretty sweet looking. But I'm I'm excited to see how they look in in person and i do like the idea of them i think they're meant to be kind of panoramic in some way with one another and just doing something different with basic lands that isn't a full art treatment but just a different treatment of the normal card border yeah let's do it and then oh there's the team look at that that thing's spicy looking it better look good in foil i'm gonna be so mad if all these foils are dark or they're the foil etch and they look stupid i'm gonna be very upset oh i do like these showcase alt arts is this seriously the Evolving Wilds card? Get out of here with that. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I can't. I Yes, I want it. I want it. There's, there's the kind of art I was picturing. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. We had some alt arts that were spoiled today. Ooh, the buy box. Wait, buy box is Vorpal Sword? I like that. I like that. Okay, well, hey, that's going to do it for us, folks. Spoilers are just getting started. Pre-release is coming in like a month in July. I'm definitely planning on going as long as I can work it out in my schedule. But I hope you all are as excited for this set as I am. I just mm, I can't even begin to explain the flavor bomb that is this set. If you are familiar with the Forgotten Realms, let me know if there's a character or a card that you're envisioning or something. Like, Just give me an idea of what you're hoping for shows up in this set. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.